Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description, and that will take you directly to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I wanna share with you is a smart pool monitor. This is pretty cool because it is a seven in one little device that can basically keep an eye on your chemicals for you. So that way you know if your pool is in the perfect condition. So uh, this is by a company called Rakai. Uh, it's spelled R-Y-A-K-K-A. -A. This is the box it comes in. Once you open it up, you get everything you need. So. First off, you are going to get a uh, little user manual. Take a look at this because I find it a little helpful as far as uh, it tells you what the different chemicals that it's looking for and it tells you the ranges in the back. Also tells you how to calibrate it, which we'll cover here shortly. Uh, you're also going to get a little um, a Zigbee little kind of hub here and this is what it's going to use to send that wireless signal over your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi internet. Uh, from the pool monitor to this so that way you can track everything on your phone So the app is very easy to use it shows you all the instant kind of daily stats You can also look at it for kind of how your pool is trending over the weeks and the months And you can zoom in on each little individual item just so you have an idea of what needs to be fixed or what is running perfectly in your pool now, you are going to also get, um, obviously, the device itself, which we're going to cover in detail. But you're going to get all these little jars here. Um, and these are what I mentioned earlier, is what you're going to use to calibrate the machine. So you're going to want to calibrate this about once a month or once every other month, depending on whether you have a regular pool or a saltwater pool. But super easy to calibrate. You're simply going to um, follow the instructions in the manual. You're gonna dip the probe in here because these are set up to have a specific range for pH uh, balance. So like this one is the 7.00 balance. You're gonna put the sensor in, you're gonna hit the range, and then it knows where the high is and it'll do the low. They also include uh, a bunch of little bags. So that way when the saline does run out, you also have the bag options. They are going to include a little uh, measuring cup, so that way it makes it nice and easy. Now, they have this little plastic tool, and that is gonna be used to put on the waterproof covers on the side of the device. So one side, you are going to have a red little button. You're gonna use that button to reset uh, the pool cleaner if, or the pool uh, monitor if you ever need to reset it. The other side has a USB plug. So what's cool about this thing is it can be charged up because it's got it's got a rechargeable battery so you can plug it in and charge it up via the usb or it has a giant solar panel so uh most of the time it just floats around in my pool i don't have to worry about manually charging it up unless i have like a lot of cloudy days like weeks of cloudy days but if you have an indoor pool or a pool maybe that doesn't get a lot of sunshine uh the solar panel may not keep it fully tapped up, and so you can charge it when you want. Uh, and so this tool makes it easy to tighten those, so that way water doesn't get in there. Because if obviously water gets in there, it'll ruin the device. So make sure it's nice and tight before you drop this in the pool. I don't really use this, but it also comes with a little lanyard here, so you can kind of clip it to the side of your pool or um, a skimmer or something like that, uh, which will go on the sides. But Let's talk about the device itself. So as you can see, it is kind of big. It's about the size of a chlorinator. On the bottom, you just go ahead and screw this off. And so that way you can see the different sensors. So you're gonna have this kind of like solid sensor here. That's gonna be helping reading things like the temperature. And then you're gonna have another one that has this little plastic part on top of it. That is going to be doing all the magic. So before you put this in the pool, you're gonna remove the plastic part and it's gonna expose all the sensors. When you don't have this in the pool and you're storing it, so let's say maybe you're storing it in the winter or something like that, go ahead and take this out and be sure to put the plastic part back on so that way the sensors don't get damaged. Now, what does this device actually read? Because that's kind of the most important part. So like I mentioned, it does seven different measurements. The first one is the pH balance. So you obviously want your pool around seven to seven and a half pH balance. 
if it's too high, that's when your eyes start to kind of like burn when you get the water in them. But if it's too low, then your skin kind of can, feels itchy. So you want to make sure your pH balance is perfect and this will read that for you. It also does ORP. And so what that is, is it's an oxidating reduction potential. And so the ideal for that is between 650 and 750. It's once again, another um, chemical that's kind of determining how well your pool is absorbing uh, and it's working with the general water. Uh, and then obviously it's going to read the chlorine levels. Obviously the chlorine is what sanitizes and keeps your pool clean. You want your chlorine levels between one in five parts per million. Uh, depending on whether it's private pool, public pool, etc., uh, that's obviously a very important stat. Now, it also does read the TDS, which is your total dissolved solids. You want that between 1,500 um, as a max. So if you go over that, that's when you can start seeing stains on your pool. So you want to make sure that is below the 1,500 mark. Now, I don't have a uh, saltwater pool, but if you do have a saltwater pool, uh, it will read the uh, salinity and the EC reading. So the EC is the electric conductivity of it. And then uh, the other one is measuring the salt in your pool. So if you do have a salt water, those are important aspects. I don't have it, so I kind of disregard those. And then finally, it measures the temperature in the app. So you know if your pool is optimal and ready for swimming season. So essentially, it gives you a nice snapshot of your pool. Most importantly, the pH balance in the chlorine. Um, those are two aspects that are really, really important as far as maintaining your pool. It does, like I said, it does everything via the app, super user friendly, easy to use. Uh, it connects via Wi-Fi and it also connects via just the Smart Life app, which is just a standard app that a lot of Wi-Fi uh, devices connect to like cameras and kind of home automation stuff. Um, but yeah, it's overall very, very easy. So like I said, I just make sure you calibrate this thing every three to six months. Uh, and uh, I typically calibrate just the pH, but if you have the salt, you need to calibrate that also. And you can also calibrate the ORP, and you have all the little containers here that will do that. But overall, it's a great little device. So if you are in the market to make pool maintenance a little bit easier for yourself, I think this one is totally worth checking out. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.